tomorrow onwards we will have a rule man. Those who come late, they have to be there out of the class. Those who come late, because you are coming late, only five minutes late I came. Even then you are coming late. So if you are coming late from tomorrow onwards, you will have to stay out. Because I don't like getting disturbed. Okay? Agreed? Come in. We have been studying the third act, scene two, and to, we are towards the end of scene two. In this scene two, as we said yesterday, the casket story reaches its climax. The Sanyo makes the choice and he wins uh, the hand of Portia. Okay? And then, uh, we hear the sad story of Antonio's Antonio's loss. Salarino and uh, Lorenzo, sorry, uh, yeah, Lorenzo and uh, Erisa, they come out of the stage. And then we are told that we are given a hint. We are given a hint through a letter, a communication on the tragedy regarding the business of Antonio. All his ships, all the vessels that carry the heavy goods to the international uh, countries, boundaries, they all are capsized, they are all drowned. That is the news. That's where we stopped. We'll continue from 275 Salarino Salario Not one my lord So he is asking Not one merchant barring rocks spared the vessels of Antonio The answer is Not one my lord Besides it should appear that if he had the present money to discharge the Jew, he would not take it. So even if he has got money now, he, the Jew, who is the Jew here? Shylock. Shylock is not going to accept that money. So Shylock is not going to take the money now. Why? The time has elapsed, the bond is broken, forfeited, and therefore he wants to take revenge. So he would not take it. Never did I know a creature that did bear the shape of a man. I never knew that a, that a creature, a living being, in the shape of man, so keen and greedy to confound a man. I never knew that in the history there will be creatures, living beings, like, like humans, being in the shape of a human being, so keen and greedy, greedy to amass more, so, so keen, so much interested and uh, amassing to Confound a man, confound, destroy. Confound means confound, destroy. I never knew that man can be so greedy, you know, even to the extent of destroying another human being, fellow human being. He plies the duke at morning and at night. He plies. He requests. He go, or he goes to the duke. When morning and night. Who gave perfect to you? Get up. 
The common sense for a man. It's not the time to get in. What is the time now? What is the time? And there is your uniform. Your birthday. Please go home. Don't come to class today. Please go down. He plies the duke. He goes to the duke. When morning and night and doth impeach the freedom of the state. Thus he threatens the freedom of the, the liberty of the state. So he plies means he goes. He goes to the duke every time asking for uh, or threatening the the liberty of the state, if they deny him justice, so he is going to complain. Who is going to complain? There will be a king. Duke is only the local administrator. So he would, he would go to the higher court or to the higher official and complain about the kind of freedom that is being given to the citizens in Venice. So he is threatening the ruler. Every day he would go, ask me to do the, give the justice, deliver the justice. And therefore, the magnificos of greatest court have all persuaded him, persuaded, followed him in request, followed him to convince him. What? He persuaded him. But none can drive him from the envious plea of a creature. Justice and his born. Nobody can, nobody can change his mind from having the born, the justice, as it is described with the born, and about the fact of failure in payment of the loan amount. So he says, twenty merchants, the duke himself, and the magnificos. All these three people, 20 merchants, those are in business, and then the duke, the official, and also the magnificos, magnificos. Matna means great. Magnificos means the great people, noble people in the dukedom, in the city. All these three kinds of categories of people requested him to change his mind, but he wouldn't change. He was bent on having his watch, he was bent on having the justice. Jessica, when I was with him, I have heard him swear to Tubal and to Cus, his countrymen, that he would rather have Antonio's flesh than twenty times the value of the sum that he did owe him. And I know, my lord, if law, authority, and power deny not, it will go hard with poor Antonio. One who is speaking is Jessica. And Jessica is the daughter of Shiloh. Now what is she saying? I have heard. When I was with him, when I was with him, I have heard him swear. When I was with my dad at home, I heard him Taking a note, taking a promise, making a promise to whom? To Tubal and, and Cus. Both of them are Jews. They are the assistants or the friends to Shylock. His countrymen, they are also Jews. That he would rather have Antonio's flesh, he would rather have that pound of flesh that was promised in the bond than 20 times the value of the sun. Even if you give 20 times more, huh? he is not going to accept the money, but he is going to take the, the pound of flesh that was promised in the bond. Pound of flesh from Antonio. And I know, my Lord, if law, authority, power deny not, if all these three things, the law, power, 
and the authority of the officials if these are not denying Shylock the pound of flesh is going to have it is going to be very difficult for Antonio Portia is it your dear friend that that is that's in trouble Portia wants to inquire if it is because of if it is uh, Antonio, uh, Bassanio's great friend Bas Antonio who is in great trouble Bassanio the dearest friend to me not just a friend he is the dearest friend to me the kindest man the best condition and unwearied spirit unwearied weary weary, weary means tired unwearied never tired never tired spirit so that is the kind of uh, a well balanced always active uh, the kind of man he is antonio these are some of the words that you must uh, remember when you speak about antonio so underline those words and keep learn wherever you are mentioning about antonio you can use these words the kindest man the best conditioned man and the unwearied spirit in doing courtesies in being charitable and one in whom the ancient roman honor more appears than any that draws breath in italy the one in whom the ancient roman honor more appears he is a sort of eva hey, is your concern you listen the lesson that's why i said nobody should be there please go up don't be many years go up go you are talking about the people if you are coming if you are coming for class be on time always don't come how many people you are disturbing they are standing there and dancing and all these fellows here are disturbed waste of time no you also have no common sense sitting here and whiling away the time the one in whom the ancient roman honor more appears so he is the exact uh, incarnation personalize a uh, uh, personification of uh, the thing called roman honor the dignity of of romans is seen in this antonio than any that draws breath in italy than that any any person who draws breath means any living person in in italy he is the best incarnation of a personification of the roman dignity so that is the kind of nobility that is antonio is portia what some was he the jew what is the home that he is going to jew sanio for me 3000 ducats because of me for me is here because on account of me yes he has taken loan of 3000 ducats what no more is that all is that all pay him 6000 and deface the bond you pay 6000 They are paying only three thousand, but pay in double and deface the bond. Deface, cancel. Deface means cancel, destroy, destroy the bond. Double six thousand. Okay, if he is not happy with the six thousand, you pay another six thousand, twelve thousand. You pay, and then treble that. Still, you increase if he wants. 
Three six thousand. Trouble. Before a friend of this description shall lose a hair through Bassanio's fault, a man of this stature should not lose one hair, one hair, because of Bassanio's fault. Why? Bassanio, why she is also feeling, is she also feeling guilty? Don't know. But she feels that she has got, she is obligated, that she has got this obligation to, to uh, save Antonio because he is the best friend of Antonio. Sorry, best friend of Bassanio. First go with me to church. So before you do that, what do you have to do? First go with me to church and call me wife. First you go with, the, with me to church and then marry me. Call me wife means what? Marry me. And then away to Venice to your friend. Then you go to Venice to meet your friend. Who oh, never shall you lie by Portia's side. Who oh, never shall you lie by Portia's side with an unquiet soul. Yeah, lie means be. For you never shall be with Portia with unquiet, uncalm. That means trouble. With a troubled soul, with a troubled spirit, you don't need to be by the side of Portia. You shall have gold to pay the petty debt 20 times over. You will have enough of gold to pay the loan 20 times more. That much of money is assured to Bassanio to release, release, uh, to release his uh, friend. When it is paid, bring your true friend along. When you have released him from the debt, you please bring him to Belmont. My main Nerissa and myself, meantime, will live as maids and widows. And we, will work, we will remain here in Belmont till you come. We live here as maids, as servants and widows, as if the husbands are lost. <coughs> come up, come away, for you shall hence upon your wedding day. Bid your friends welcome, show a merry cheer. Since you are dear bought, I will love you dear. But let me hear the letter of your friend. So what she is saying, come away, let us go, for you shall hence upon your wedding day. Come now, for you will travel from here, even if it is the day of your wedding. Welcome your friends, bid your friends welcome, say welcome to your friends, show a merry cheer. Uh, happy spirit. Since you are dear bought, since you are bought very preciously, you, I will love you dear. I will, I will also love you preciously. Dear means precious. But let me hear the letter of your friend. Now please read out the letter that you have received from your friend, Bassanio. Sweet Bassanio, my ships have all miscarried, my creditors grow cruel, my estate is very low, my bond to the Jew is for fee. So the letter written by Antonio. What is he saying? Sweet Bassanio, sweet dear Bassanio, my ships all have miscarried. They are all shipwrecked. My creditors grow cruel. People who gave the debt, uh, who gave the loans, they are all very cruel. My estate is very low. My financial situation is very, very low. My bond to the Jew is for feet. My bond to the Jew, or I have failed in, in respecting the terms of the bond. My bond to the Jew is for feet. My bond to the Jew is expired. I've gone beyond the time. 
the contract time has exceeded and since in paying it it is impossible i should live if i have to really pay for the bond i will not be able to live because he has to give the pound of flesh from close to the chest all debts are cleared between you and i there is no debt between you and me if i might but see you at my death if only i see you as i die then there is no death there is no debt between you and me who is this you basanio me antonio antonio is writing to basanio so he says before i die please come that there is no debt that is the greatest uh, refund greatest uh, love that you can or greatest price that you can give to a friend like me not with the standing use your pleasure not with the standing it's an expression simply means uh, even then in spite of that even then use your pleasure take your decision according to your convenience do it use your pleasure do as you please you are not forced if your love do not persuade you to come if your love is not compelling you to come to venice let not my letter let not this letter force you to come to me it is not this letter which you must respect but the love that i have for you must compel you the love that you have for me must compel you to come to venice that is the letter written by antonio to basanio and it is brought by salarino portia oh love dispatch all business be gone oh love oh dear one dispatch all business dispatch give up all the stop all the business be gone please go dispatch dispatch all business give up means here baby complete complete all the work that you have and please go Basanio, since I have your permission to go away, since I have good leave to go away, I will make haste. Since uh, I have your permission to go, I will hurry up. Haste means hasty. Hurry, yeah, hurry up. But till I come again. No bad shall ever be guilty of my stay. Uh, but till I come come again, till I come back, no bad shall ever be guilty of my stay. Bad is for rest, not that he's going to sleep with somebody. No, the bad is meant for rest. I will have no bed to rest. That means I will take no rest. till i return i will take no rest now rest be interposer twixt us twain twain means two twist between let there be also nobody between us imposter yeah. interposer between So what is he saying? I will not rest until I complete this work, and then I'll come back. So that is uh, uh, Act Two. No, that is Act Two. Sorry, Act Three, Scene Two. Okay, and the summary we can do it very easily. What are the main things that you remember? Huh?
What are the main points that we remember? Last. Where is the scene taking place? Our man, you are watching drama or what? Where is the scene taking place? Porsche's house where? Belmont. Porsche's house in Belmont. So what is the thing? What is it? Huh? What is it? What did we begin? How did we begin the act? So it is at the caskets. The scene opens with the caskets. The scene is drawn when, even before the scene is drawn, Porsche tells, carry, wait, you wait some time. So that sometime we hear when two or three months so long you take your time relax carry she says asks the sadio to why she wants me to wait because, huh? because she was over here now because of her love, she, she cannot afford to lose Portia. Portia cannot afford to lose Bassanio. And therefore, she is asking Carrie a while. Wait a while. And what does Bassanio do? He wants to go ahead because it is for that he has come so far. He wants to go ahead and doesn't want to waste any time. And then we. We hear, as he goes, we hear the comparison to the mythology. What is the mythology? How are the people there? Huh? The mythology is about the Dedanians. The Dedanians, the Trojan people, all the ladies gathered. What is that myth? Check up. They are revising. Check up. What is the myth? The daughter of the ruler is tied to the pole. Beginning. Huh? The story of Alcides Alcides and Hasion Hasion that is the girl's name she is tied to the to the pole so that the sea monster comes and eats up. Then Alcides goes and saves her by killing the sea monster. So just as Alcides saved Hestion, Bassanio will save Portia. Portia and Hestion. Just as Hestion is tied up to the pole, to be eaten up, Borsha uh, also is locked up. Borsha is locked up in a, in a box. Not physically, but her image is locked up. She says, I am in one of the three locked up. So that is the reference to the myth. Alcides is a Bassanio. Asion is a The 
adversarial goes ahead, he makes the right choice. He chooses what casket? Lead casket. And he sees the figure of Portia. And there is a description of the figure of Portia. Her eyes, her hair, her lips. All that is described. Eyes are so lively. And the hair is compared with the cobwebs. Cobwebs spinned by spider. And what else? So from there, so he makes the choice, and when he makes the choice, Portia, he goes to Portia and kisses, and they give the ring. Portia gives the ring, and Bassanio promises. This is an important uh, information you have to remember. There is a ring story. The result is it's not only the casket story and the bond story, there is also a small ring story. And the ring story we will see at the end. Ring story. That will be resolved only in the Last chapter, last act. You can read it for the completion of the story, but it is not there for the exam. But you need to know. They can even ask how the ring story is. Uh, how, how the ring story gets settled. A ring problem is settled only towards the end. Okay. So she gives the ring and then you are introduced to the letter. Lorenzo and Jessica come. So right choice and then offering of ring and along with the ring she also offers all the property and all the servants. Aaron said, as the possession of her, as belonging to Basanio. She takes the position of a servant of her, Basanio. And before, and then we are told the story of Antonio's tragedy. Antonio's tragedy. What is the Antonio's tragedy? Loss of all the all the ships. Now, Act Three, Scene Three. What is the time? Okay, I have time. Shylock. This is a small one. Shylock. So the scene is in Venice, a street. Now on the stage, whom do we find? Shylock, Salarino, Antonio, and Jailer. See the old spelling of Jailer. How is it written? Gowler. We may read it now as a Gowler, but uh, G is uh, pronounced both as uh, J and G. So now. Okay. Shylock. Jailer, look to him. Take care of him. Tell not me of, of mercy. Let him not say anything of uh, mercy to me. This is the fool that lent out money gratis. Money gratis free. Gratis means free. Latin gratis means free. This is the fellow who gave money, loan, without interest. Money gave free means not the capital. It is uh, interest free. Jailer, look to him. You take care of him. Look to him means take care of him. Antonio, 
Hear me yet, good child Lord. Antonio is requesting, kindly hear me. Good Shylock, Shylock, I will have my bond. I don't want to hear you. I just want to have my bond. Speak not against my bond. Don't tell me anything about the bond. I have sworn an oath that I will have my bond. I have taken a promise that I will have only my bond, nothing else. Thou callest me dog before thou ha hadest a cause. Thou call you call me? You call me a dog even without having a proper reason. But since I am a dog, because I am a dog, beware my fangs, beware of my teeth, my sharp teeth. The Duke shall grant me justice. The Duke has to give me justice because of the bond. I do wonder, thou naughty jailer, that thou art so fond to come abroad with him at his request. What is abroad here? Not going out of the country, but out of the jail. I do wonder, I wonder, thou naughty jailer, thou naughty, naughty means Naughty means not playful here. Naughty usually means you naughty fellow means you are playful. But that's not the meaning here. You wicked. You waste, wasteful. Useless. Huh? Unworthy. Unworthy jailer. Thou art so fond to come abroad with him at his request. You love to take him out when he tells you to take you out. Take him out. Antonio, I pray thee, hear me speak. I request you, I pray thee. I, I request you, hear me speak. Let me speak. Allow me to speak. Shylock, I will have my bond. His uh, chorus is always the same. I will have my bond. I will not hear thee speak. I don't want to hear anything. I just have my bond. I will have my bond and therefore speak no more. Therefore, don't open your mouth. Don't tell me anything. I will not I, I will not be made a soft and dull-eyed fellow. You cannot make me a soft fellow with uh, your, your words. To shake the head relent and sigh and yield to the Christian intercessors. I will not be made a soft and dull-eyed fool. By your speech, you cannot make me a, a kind-hearted, uh, a soft-hearted person to shake the head, to agree, relent, step back and sigh. Take, uh, take a deep breath in in feeling one with your sorrow and yield, agree, yield means here, agree to the Christian intercessor, intercessor, intercessor is one who makes a request. So don't think by your speech you can, you can make me soft and hold my hand for all what you ask. Follow now, don't come after me. I will have no speaking. I don't want I don't want to talk to you. I will have my bond. I just want only my bond. Exit. He goes out of the stage. Salarino. It is the most impenetrable curve that have that ever kept with men. Most impenetrable curve. Curve. Dog. Street dog is called. Curve, most impenetrable, impenetrable, heartless, heartless dog that ever kept with men. People keep lots of dogs, and the dog that is uh, very wicked or uh, very um, heartless, this man is like that. Sherlock is compared with a. Dog. Antonio, 
let him alone. Let him alone. Don't speak bad of him. I will follow him no more with bootless prayers. I will follow, I will not approach him again with the bootless prayers, useless prayers. He seeks my life. He wants just my life. Seek. What is the meaning of seek? Search. Long for. He is just longing for my life. His reason, well, I know. I know why he wants, he wants my life. I oft delivered from his forfeitures many that have at times made moan to me. I often delivered, delivered, saved. Very, I saved many times, often, many times. I saved many times his forfeitures. All the people who failed to return his uh, uh, money, I saved them. Many that that have at times made loan to, made moan to me, moan, request, cry, moaning is crying. So many people who have taken loans from him have cried in front of me and I have delivered them. That means I paid their, their bond money. Therefore, he hates me. That is the reason why he hates. Salary no. I am sure the Duke will never grant his forfeiture to hold. I am quite sure that the Duke will not respect the bond. Antonio, the Duke cannot deny the course of law. The Duke cannot deny the action of the law. The law has to be permitted to do, to do what it should do. For the commodity that strangers have with us in Venice, if it be denied, will much impede the justice of the state. So, in the country, all should be treated equally. And if strangers, the outsiders, are denied of their rights, that will, that will, that will be bad for the dukedom, for this um, local government in the eyes of the national government. Since that the trade and profit of the city, so what is the meaning of commodity? Commodity means rights. The rights of the strangers in the land have to be upheld. Otherwise it will risk the very liberty of the dukedom. Therefore, they have to be given rights. The law has to be permitted. And so Duke cannot take his own his own freedom to, to stop the law from its action. Since that the trade and profit of the city consisteth of all nations. Since the trade and profit of the, of the city, all the business, all the business of the city consists of all nations. Since we have international relationships, that will affect our trade, our national trade. Therefore, so go. These griefs and losses have so baited me that I shall hardly spare a pound of flesh tomorrow to my bloody creditor. Well, jailer, on. So he says, I cannot save my life. Well, jailer, please move on. Pray God. Basanio come to see me, pay his debt, pay his debt, and then I care not. I just want to live up to the time when Basanio comes and sees me. How much I care for him. How I am paying the loan that he had taken. And then I don't care. After Basanio's visit, I don't care anything. So exempt the scene is closed. Scene 4. So in this third scene, what is told to us? The Vesanio and the Antonio is already in jail because of the forfeit of the bond. He is in jail. He did not pay back the money. 
So he is in jail. But he has come out to a come out of the jail just for some stroll way, for some walk, along with the jailer. And Shylock meets him there. Antonio makes a request to hear him, but Shylock is not willing to listen to him at all because he thinks that by listening he, he will be melt, his heart will be melted and then he will have to show mercy which he does not want. His mind is very very, his decision is very strong. He has taken a promise that he will, that he will respect the bond and then have the bond of flesh. <laughs>